Hi everyone, this is just going to be um, a room tour. I cleaned up, rearranged some things. Um, obviously not the cage because it's still there, but um, I just rearranged all the stuff that I had for the guinea pigs. And I thought I would just kind of show everybody a little bit. Um, so let's get started. I cleaned the guinea pig cage. Nothing is really in it right now except for the hay and the water bottle. But all of the fleece and stuff is new. Um, the guinea pigs right now are at the expo. Um, or I'm sorry, not the expo. The adoption um, center. It's at the dog house. And um, they're having a party, an adoption party. So they were hoping that they were going to be getting a lot of people coming in and out. And that maybe the guinea pigs would be adopted. So anyway, I will get started. I still have all of the blankets and some fleece um, on the floor. I have it underneath, stored underneath my cage, so it's out of the way. Um, I keep their hay in here. I was having a problem with um, nothing being over here because I would, before I put the hay underneath the desk area, and I had to drag the bag every single time, and I mean, I'm filling the hay like, almost twice a day, so I decided to move the desk chair over uh, closer to the cage and closer to the hay rack, so all I have to do is reach in and grab it. Um, underneath there, I have some room spray, some extra food, and in here I just, this is a container that's old um, that I had nothing really stored in, and I have a lint brush in there as well. So I'll just keep that underneath there. Um, over here I have a little little organization. Um, I have all of their extra food dishes in here along with the vinegar and water um, solution to spray their cage down. I have their little piggy uh, scrubber that I scrub the cage down and then I also have their dustpan. Underneath that um, I have connectors down here but I don't use connectors and I didn't know where else to store them so I'm just storing them down there. I have a measuring cup and that little plastic blue thing. Um, when I had babies I used that and they used to jump on it or fit inside of it and jump on it but we don't have babies anymore so. So here's the desk. I have the trash can on the side. Um, up above I have, well, pledge. This was used for cleaning the wood but I have a flashlight. Flashlight is very important because um, at nighttime what I do is I turn off all the lights, I close the blinds, and I turn the radio off. Now, they do have the radio on during the day. I suggest doing this. I do work uh, part-time, but I keep the radio on during the day so they're used to hearing um, voices and things, and it really helps out a lot. But anyway, so I have extra food. This was from the rescue center and they absolutely hate this food. So whatever. Maybe the next guinea pigs will like it. Then I have um, an extra rack. This is to hold the fleece down, if you guys don't know. Uh, this is food that was left in their dish uh, before I took them to the expo. So I'll just keep that there. Oh, the flashlight. I'm sorry. That's what I was getting to. I'm sorry. This heat in Wisconsin is just a torture, and it's making me not want to think correctly. But anyway, um, so I turn off all the lights before I go to bed, and if I, like, hear them, like, sometimes I'll hear them squeaking really loud in the middle of the night or whatever. If I want to come in here and not turn on the light and startle them, I can grab the flashlight and just take a little peek-see and see what they're doing. Um, let's see. Then underneath here, I have all of my wax my waxes. This is not guinea pig related, but I don't care. I am obsessed with these waxes. As you can see, you can get them at Walmart and that's a different video. I posted a video on it. So anyway, so up here I have gloves. These you can buy at Walmart, not these specific ones, but you can get these at Walmart. These are a lifesaver because if there's poop anywhere in the cage, like any of the tight crevices or whatever, and you can't get into it, um, I put these gloves on and I just pick it up with my hand. So, always have gloves. Um, you can use them for other things too, but there's like tons of gloves in there. So, in here I keep their treats. 
I have um, treats that I had opened that I just keep in this French's fried onion container. Um, as you can see. And then there's also... There's this kind of treat. And then there's also another one too, but I can't get to it now. It's too deep. Um, these... The guinea pigs do not like these. They are apple flavored flips and they hate them. So I'm saving them for another guinea pig. Another one. They don't like these either. These, uh, Perina came out with these and my guinea pigs just, the guinea pigs that I have now just do not like them at all. So I'm just going to save them. Um, I also have alfalfa cubes. Um, I have... These that I bought on accident, they're for, for uh, rabbits, but oh well, I gave them to the guinea pigs and it's fine. Um, and then I have, I don't know if you can see in here, another container and it's peas and potato something or other, but they are definitely safe for guinea pigs. I um, asked about that and they are fine. Let me just put this away. And then over here... I have all of their toys. I try to change their toys out every single time I clean the cage. But, um, like this thing. This is just a dog. That's just a dog toy. But anyway, toilet paper rolls, I save them. There's a whole bunch of uh, balls in here. Uh, placemats that they can chew on. Loofahs. Any type of toy that I chew toy that I have, I keep in here and like I said, I switch it out every single time I clean the cage so they have um, something different that they can um, play with each time. Uh, gotta have the Kleenex just in case, you have to blow your nose or whatever while you're cleaning the cage. Here I have their basket stacked up with their large Heidi Hut and their small Heidi Hut. Um, this just has change in it. I used to use it as a weight before I got the rocks, um, but I just keep it here. And then puppy pads, I'm going to have to buy some more of these. And then, obviously, the bed is made, thank God. Um, this is my daughter's closet. She just came home from college, and she's living with my parents. But that's a whole other story, too. Um, but I just, I think I just have this in there. Um... I still haven't gotten rid of that. Hey, if you guys know if the pigs urinate on that um, type of thing, that's an oxbow hut. If they urinate on it, is there a way to wash it? Or, like, could I soak it in maybe, like, warm water and just let it sit and then maybe, like, let it air dry out? Because whenever I get pigs and have this thing, they always pee in it. So I don't know what I should do about that. Then I have their Easter basket that I just put some hay in and sometimes when I'm out um, and get them out of the cage. Oh, it's got our last name on it, embroidered. But anyway, um, when they're out of the cage, I uh, put them in this. So, yeah. And I think that's about it. Oh, and then I decided under here to put the litter. Um, obviously, as you can see, I don't have a lot. I just bought that small bag. I need some more. Um, if you guys know of any good sales or whatever going on, let me know because I desperately need to buy some more litter. And there's some of my fleece. Some more of my fleece. It's kind of like buried in there. I kind of squished it in there. But anyway, um, so that's my video. Oh, and then up here I still have the pictures. I have to print off more too because... Um, hopefully they're the guinea pigs that I have now will get adopted today. But if not, um, well, either way, I'm going to be printing out more, uh, photos and stuff. Oh, and I didn't go on this side of the desk. Ugh, I swear this heat. Okay, so I have extra hay up there on the top. On the bottom I have alfalfa hay, a Heidi hut, and, um, just some extra huts and stuff. And then on the bottom I have their food, uh, and more tunnels. So... So that is my video. I am finished. And now I have to clean the rest of the house, but I got this room done first um, to get it out of the way just in case I have to pick them up. So I hope everybody has a fabulous day and a good weekend.